Okay, guys, so we are looking at the mini NASDAQ here. Okay, let's see if these guys can continue higher from here. Else, uh, we already saw that linear regression that is pointing down. Okay, buyers just exhausted here. The same for the ES and the micro ES. Okay, so if these guys can continue lower from here, we're gonna place a limit order here. Okay, so let's see if we can get filled and catch the the correction. See if we can give it some room here. to see more sellers here in the tape as you can see buyers tried to push it up right now but couldn't push it so we're expecting a little bit lower from here there we go sellers in the tape small push on the micro ES and DS okay we see the tape moving a little bit so guys just break the ATR guys come on in queue short signal yes there you go Starting to push down okay I want you to see what happened here guys Remember, I always tell you about the linear regression. Okay, so stop the price. I mean, happens all the time, over and over and over again, guys. The same thing over and over again. Just need to pay attention what the market is doing. Okay, there goes the tape. There goes the Nasdaq trying to break a little bit lower. Lots of sellers in the micro NASDAQ. See an imbalance 872. Okay, here it goes 200 short. The ES. Short signal and Q. There you go. Here goes the NASDAQ. guys are not taking the price up seems like sellers are trying to push price down and I'll go add to the position once it hits the ATR let's see we got sellers there Short signal, yes. Oh, 
see fires this low we are in the ATR okay, we see buyers picking it up here this low you see with this low wick you see the buy burp here it can be profit taking let's see if they get absorbed by the sellers else still the market is the bias is short okay fighting down there yes it's not pulling up Okay, we got we got filled. Market is tanking right now. Okay, let's go. I, I told you before that I thought there were sellers here in the ATR. Short signal, yes. This is 600, 1,418 contract short. Okay, so you see the NASDAQ 2 was a big seller burp. of selling in the tape but still can be a liquidity hunt here be a reversal later so okay we see more sellers in the tape 232 NASDAQ can drop a little bit here, at least 30 ticks. Still pushing down. Yes, it's lagging a little bit now. Which is not nice. Still buyers are not picking it up. Okay, starting to play out guys market tried to reverse almost almost reverse but uh, you know we have confidence about what we see here we see the linear regression pointing down again and buyers just struggling to push it up okay so we made very good trades in the morning after that mumbo jumbo market started going up so we're still holding this trade let's see if we can get to the targets he already broke the first 80, so he should go to the second one. Buyers just couldn't push it up. You see on the tape here is Marcus trying to push it, push it up, but it's, it's not possible. Nasdaq, uh, the ES wasn't just doing nothing. It, it didn't want to go up. There it goes, guys. It goes. Let's see. Let's see lots of short, short seller 390. Lots of short selling in the Nasdaq. short signal and Q. Lots of imbalances to the downside. Yes, still not reacting to the NASDAQ. The majority of the time, the NASDAQ just 
reverses a little bit and the gas you know moves with the nasdaq but so, uh, something is happening right now this, these guys are not reacting there's no buyers down here see more imbalances in the micro yes more volume there short signal yet little bias here short signal and Q Okay guys, I think I'm gonna exit here. Hey guys. There you go. Okay, we got filled here. Okay guys, I'm I'm out. Plus 2k in this trade guys. Okay, so as you can see why I took this trade guys remember I always tell you the market was rejected from this high here okay so let's review what happened here okay market it tried to reverse but couldn't and when then we went below the linear regression as you can see here okay, you see the linear regression here let me see Okay, so we were rejected. You can see it right here. This is the first sign of the algos taking place. Then we hit the ATR, tried to push it, but it's impossible. No way. Okay, so, there, so that's when you see guys. These, these guys are really gonna. They are already exhausted. Then you see the 2,900 contracts and the micros, and uh, you know the, the the rest is history. You just uh, you just place a sample trade here. For example, if you have a very small account place one one micro or, or one mini okay so it, it's, it's up to you what type of account that you have and in the that's how you you trade this this market guys the, the market is not gonna go high forever or low forever it needs to have a uh, a rebound and uh, that's when we enter the trade as you can see and uh, with correlation dots we see a magenta arrow which is a high volume double the volume so it's not a, a red arrow. A red arrow is, is normal volume. A magenta is high volume. 
is like the blue one. The blue arrow is double volume. Okay, so a, and a green arrow is a normal volume. Okay, so we see imbalance here, no imbalances up here, no, neither here in the micro ES, and the, the market is just goes down. Okay, guys, so you have a great weekend. Uh, thanks for watching. It, like always, if you're interested in the system, there's a link in the description of this video. You can contact me. I will be happy to send you information. Bye-bye, guys.